Hi everyone, my name is Katie. I am the children's librarian at the Clarkston Library. You can normally find me there doing lots of things like story time, uh, helping kids find the right books, and my very favorite thing to do, art and science projects. Since we're all stuck at home for the time being, I thought it would be pretty cool to do some art and science together over the internet. Um, so for today, we're going to talk about something that you guys have probably been talking a lot about. And I'm sorry to be another person talking about it, but it's pretty important. We're going to talk about hand washing. Uh, we're going to do two really quick demonstrations uh, that talk about how we wash our hands, like how to scrub really well, and then why we use soap when we wash our hands. So for our first demonstration today, I'm going to use two gloves and I'm going to use some black paint. Now, the last time I tried to put these gloves on, they were like a little bit small for me. I think I grabbed the kid size gloves by accident. So bear with me while I try and get them on my hands. This is not the fun part, I promise. Okay, there's one glove. And here is, oops, that one ripped a little bit. It's okay, it was just at the edge. And two gloves, okay, I have two gloves on. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna pretend like the gloves are germs and the black paint that I'm gonna put a little bit on, my phone is the soap. Okay, so when you're washing your hands, you get some soap and you start rubbing your hands together, right? All right, I've washed my hands, I'm all ready. But look how much extra white there is. We got the fronts of our hands pretty good. We didn't get the backs, we didn't get in between the fingers, and we didn't get like almost any of the thumb. So to practice, we're gonna make sure that we get in between our fingers. We're gonna make sure that we get all the way on the backs of our hands and that we get our thumbs really good. Are we all good? Have we gotten everything? What about the bottoms? So we're also gonna make sure that we get our wrists really good. And all of this scrubbing and all of this making sure that we've got soap on all of our hands, that takes some time. You've probably been talking about how it takes about 20 seconds every time you wash your hands. Uh, people like to count that 20 seconds in different ways. I think the easiest way is by singing a song. Um, and I like to sing the ABC song. It takes me about 24 seconds to sing the ABC song. So I know that if I sing the whole ABC song, then I have probably scrubbed my hands enough. You guys wanna practice with me? You might not have the black paint on your hands. That's fine. We're just gonna put our hands together. We're gonna get the fronts. We're gonna get in between. We're gonna get the backs. We're gonna get the sides. And we're gonna sing the ABC song. Ready, set, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And by the end of that, we've got all of the germs encapsulated with all of our soap. And we can turn on the water and rinse it all off. And we're good to go until the next time we have to wash our hands. Okay. So that was how we wash our hands. Now we're gonna talk about why we use soap to wash our hands. And before I get started, I wanna make sure you guys know that I am not a scientist, I'm a librarian. Um, and so the science that I'm gonna talk about today, I did a lot of research to make sure that I'm getting it right. And when I didn't understand what I was reading, I reached out to my friends that are scientists to help explain it to me. Um, I want you guys to know that it's always okay to ask for help when you don't understand something. That's one of the main ways that we learn. I also want to let you guys know that the science I'm talking about today is going to be very, very, very simple. 
So if you hear something that you're interested in and you want to know more, I want you guys to go to our website, decablibrary.org. And on our website are a whole bunch of research databases that you can access with your library card and your PIN number. And those will help give you correct information and they will help you research a little bit more about what we're talking about today. So the basics, as I understand them, is that we have on our hands normally, well, I've got some black paint and some food coloring, uh, but normally we have a whole bunch of like oils and grease on our hands that is just something that our body makes naturally. Um, and germs stick to those oils and greases. And to get rid of them, we wash our hands. Now, if we wash our hands with just water, water and oil don't like each other. They bounce off. And so the water will bounce off our oils that have the germs on them, and it'll just go straight down the sink. It's better than not washing your hands because it'll get a little bit of it, but it's not going to get a lot of it. And when we add soap, soap is kind of incredible because at a molecular level, it has one end that really likes fats and oils and has one end that really likes water. So soap acts as a glue to get all the fats and the oils and to glue them to the water. And so when we wash our hands and we send the water down the drain, the fats and the oils and the germs go shroom, just like they're on a big water slide. Again, that's very, very simplified and it's not all of the science, but it's the science that we're concerned with today. So to show you how that works, I wanna do an experiment. To do this experiment, you're gonna need some milk. I'm using half and half because that's what we had in our fridge. You could also use whole milk or 2% milk. You want some milk with some fat in it, like we've been talking about, the oil, the grease, the fat. You're also gonna use some food coloring. My food coloring is gel food coloring and it sinks to the bottom of the milk. So if you have gel food coloring like mine, Go ahead and mix it into a little bit of water so that it'll stay up on the top. Um, we are also going to use some Dawn dish soap. I have put it into a tiny cup for easier access. You're going to want a Q-tip. And just for like funsies, I'm going to add some glitter. That's not necessary. So to get started, I'm going to pour some half and half into my bowl. I'm going to add some food coloring. I'm going to add some pink food coloring. And I'm going to add some blue food coloring. And just because I can, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. Okay, so we're using milk because it has both fat and water in it. Milk is a lot of water and some protein and some fat molecules suspended in it. I'm gonna take my Q-tip, dip it into my soap, and I want you guys to watch what happens when I let the soap hit the milk. Do you see that? It's pretty cool, huh? So what's happening here is that the soap molecules are hitting the milk and the end of the soap molecule that likes to attach to soap is rushing around and trying to find all of the fat molecules to attach to. And the end of the soap molecule that likes to attach to water is also rushing around trying to find all the water to attach to. And as it's doing that, it creates that reaction, that firework that we saw, where the food color molecules get kind of bumped around and go crazy. And so that is how our soap attaches to both the fat and to the water in milk, and how it would attach to the fat and the water on our hands. Okay, that is the end of our demonstration for today. I hope that this helped you guys understand a little bit better why we use soap when we wash our hands and how to properly scrub your hands for a long time. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, you can always ask in the comments and I will get back to you. 
Um, also included in this post is a couple of the places that I did research. And uh, so you can look at those sources. And if you need even more, remember decablibrary.org with your library card and your pen number, and you have a whole host of resources to use. All right, I will see y'all next time.